everybody, welcome to Muse TV, and we are back with uh, talking to another person from the cast of Little All Earth. the World is Sleeping. All the World is Sleeping. It is 7.30 a.m. over here in L.A. Uh, Jackie Cruz, you're in New York right now. You're in the streets of New York. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Love to be back home. Uh, I'm from Queens, so uh, I just took the train to Manhattan right now, and it feels nice. so good to be on the subway once again. <laughs> yeah. So how is it in New York right now for you? How, how's it been going home? Uh, it's been amazing. You know, like when I landed, there was a little, you know, problem at immigration, but <laughs> other than they thought I brought ham. I don't know. I, I don't eat ham. <laughs> <laughs> they, so I was stopped. They took my passport. I'm like, uh, no, I said I had a salad, not ham. Mm -hmm. But then after that, um, it's just been great. Like, I love my New York people. Like, everyone says we have attitude, but we don't. You know what I mean? We we smile, and, you know, if, if, we, if we have an attitude, at least we have an attitude. It's not fake, you know? So I just love, I, I love New York. It's just so real at all times. It's, it's amazing, and the weather is just perfect right now. Yeah. Well, let's get into the film. All the World is Sleeping is premiering today at the New York Latino Film Festival. Saw it two days ago an amazing film like I, I i just enjoyed it it's it's a great great story great great acting from you and melissa what was it about the script that made you want to be a part of it because it's such it's difficult subject matter to be honest yeah i you know what i loved about the script was that it was you know my character at least was very layered you know she was a role uh an emotional a roller coaster you didn't know whether it's a lover or a hater you know she it's, it's it was a messy a messy life like like real life and uh it just felt really authentic really real and 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 i wanted to share those faces and, and that voice um to the world and um i feel so blessed and lucky that i i was chosen to to play a character like toaster and to be a part of a film that has so much heart and um uh, was put together by, you know, surviving mothers and my character was based on them. And I, uh, you know, I it just, it's a, it's, a, it's a film about bravery and, and it's got a lot of heart and it's honest, you know, and uh, there's not a lot of films like that. And uh, I, I just, I'm so lucky that I got to be a part of it and, and help make it. Yeah. And I was talking to Ryan because Ryan was like, oh yeah, we shot it in my home state of New Mexico. What was it like to shoot and get the environment? Did it really help with your performance and being in New Absolutely. Mexico? It was amazing. You know, I, I had to, I got the lingo, you know, and I, it was like a magical little world that I never knew about. Like beautiful white stands, like everything was just so authentic and the people were so nice and, uh, and, and working with the women on set, they don't, that doesn't usually happen, you know? Some people think it's, it, you know, it, it gives you a lot of pressure, but to me, it felt, it helped me feel, feel more relaxed that I know that what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, my physical reactions to things is correct. And uh, it was, it was amazing. I would love to make more movies in, in, in New Mexico. Yeah. And we're already maybe like the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it may be, maybe New Mexico is a new movie hub too. So it may be uh, more coming. But we've been getting comments already. We've been putting some of some of the interviews already, and we just got one yesterday. And somebody, uh, Dora Lee Urban, said you did an amazing job re representing our truth, and that was for the entire cast. Uh, you're getting some a lot of great comments from people from New Mexico, all over. You know that I haven't yeah. seen it. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no, the director Ryan was like Jackie. You waited two and a half years you're going to see it on the big screen. And I'm like, you know what? It's worth the wait. And uh, I don't know the scenes they chose. I don't know uh, anything really. And I, uh, I've i just been hearing amazing things that people really love it. And uh, I'm just really excited because I didn't get to meet all the women that it was inspired by. So tonight I get to meet them. You know, I've been, uh, I've just, I'm just so happy that it's in New York. It's in the New York Latino Film Festival. And, uh, and that's a big way to start our festival run, you know? Yeah. And that's the one thing, like this, your performance is 
at another level. And I'm hoping when he's, you're able to, I know some actors don't like to see themselves on screen, but this is the one that's thing. Not me. That's, what, that's what I was, that's what I was going to say. You need to see this yourself on screen on this one because it just takes it to another level. You take Thank your performance you. to another level and it's just Thank amazing. You. One thing I do want to ask is because yesterday was the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month. And I would love to ask you, being a Latina and being Latin like myself, what do you, do you do you think films like this is really giving a more of an opportunity because we're seeing more Latinos, especially an independent film, really get to shine and show their work? Yeah, you know, um, I think sometimes they're changing, but a little slow, I'm not going to lie, because yeah. um, Hollywood is a place of imagination with no vision. So mm -hmm. if they don't, if you don't show them what's up, they won't see it. So um, we need to continue to make story, films like this and share our stories and um, share our visibility and, and show the world that Latinos come from, you know, all places and we all look different and we all come in all colors and sizes and we all deserve representation. And uh, I feel that, you know, Orange is the New Black opened a lot of doors for me as an actor, as a producer, as, you know, I'm, I'm writing too. I've created a, um, I'm, I'm working on my own things too, behind the scenes, putting a lot of seeds out there. But I feel that, uh, uh, yes, that times are changing, like, but I'm saying it's a little slow, but I love that we have a, an actual festival like New York Latino Film Festival that gets to um, honor our work and uh, represent it and, and, and praise it. And um, I just feel, um, I feel really blessed that, uh, that, the, that doors are opening up. I don't care how long it takes, I'm knocking down doors. And, and I have people like, like Melissa Barrera who, you know, the moment I walked onto set, she hugged me like a real sincere hug. I've never met her before, before this day. And it, I felt like so honest and real. And I was like, okay, we're, we're making something special here. And uh, I don't know, we had very good chemistry. Uh, I don't know if you got to see that, but um, yes, it, was, it was very natural. And uh, she's, and if you've seen her in all her work, she's just very natural and she's very easygoing. And, she connects with people, really connects with people. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I was blessed to work with her because, you know, um, you get to see it on the big screen. Like, I don't get to see it yet until tonight. But uh, I do think that our doors are opening and, and people like Melissa and myself, we're, we're breaking them down. And, uh, you know, we're, we're also opening the doors for, for our people, you know. And, yeah. and I have my own, you know, film of... Um, my own film production called uh, Unspoken Productions, where I I wanted to start with a film that actually Ryan Layson directed, a short film back in the 1800s to show the world we were always there, we were just not represented. And um, I just uh, I just think it's so important and uh, so happy that we we get to shine in uh, New York Film Festival tonight. Exactly. So Jackie, thank you so much for stopping with us. I'm so glad that our younger generation gets to see women like you who get to see that they could do it and they could be a part of this. And do it. Never put a time awesome. limit on the team. I don't care if I'm 80 years old, that Oscar, I will get. Well, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like I just started my production company. I'm 46 and it never, you, you never stop. It's never. Like, keep pushing. Like, why? Mm -hmm. the whole life is about doing what you love or else what's the point you know mm -hmm. and trust me the struggle is real because I've struggled I struggled my whole life and, and and I feel really blessed right now and and it's not like people are giving me roles left and right it's hard work yeah. and if you really want it you got to work for it and um and you can get 200 no's but that one yes could change your life uh and uh, I don't know I just want to give hope to our people exactly and, Exactly. Jackie, thank you so much. All the World thank is you. Sleeping is premiering tonight at the New York Latino Film Festival. I know I talked to Ryan yesterday and tickets are very limited. There may still be tickets. So if you want to see it, get the tickets. Sure, but please check it out. Yeah, definitely. And when, and when you come out to LA and your cast presents the film, we'll be there to support you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.